Welcome, boys and girls, to our weekend session. Welcome. Did you notice that I began with welcome instead of hello? More about that after we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, today you want us to listen to Jesus as he tells us how to be welcoming, thoughtful, and kind. And once again, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit to be our guide. In Jesus' name, amen. Before we continue, why don't we listen to what Jesus has to say first. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes God's messenger, because he is God's messenger, will share in his reward. And whoever welcomes a good person, because he is a good person, will share in his reward. You can be sure that whoever gives even a drink of cold water to the one of the least of my followers, because he is my follower, will certainly receive a reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember in the beginning I said welcome instead of hello? Can you now guess why? That word was said six times in that little gospel passage, so it must be very important to Jesus. In preparing to talk about this gospel, I came across a, t a little a suggestion entitled, A Sign of Friendship, and here it is. In Hawaii, there is a lovely custom of giving a flower lay to visitors. Wouldn't it be wonderful to be welcomed by someone placing a beautiful chain of flowers around your neck, just like this? We don't live in Hawaii, where there are beautiful flowers all year long, but we certainly can be welcoming in our own special way. Jesus was telling his apostles, that when they go about sharing his teachings and people welcome them, they would be rewarded because they accepted God's word. Whom do you think could be God's messenger to you? Well, in a couple of weeks when we're together again, one messenger whom you missed will share the good news with you. And here he is. Ah, Father Matthew. You and I can be God's messengers too by being welcoming. For example, when a new family moves into the neighborhood and they have children your own age and you can be friends to them or a new child comes to your class and you make them feel welcome so that they're not alone. Jesus always led by example. Even some of the people who are not liked by others, Jesus befriended them. For example, like Nicodemus, who remember snuck in at night because he didn't want people to know he wanted to be Jesus's friend. Or when Jesus was invited to a wedding and they ran out of wine and his mother asked him what he could do. And Jesus, what did he do? He changed the water into wine. When he met a man who was blind, what did he do? He helped him to see. He cured him. When people had been following Jesus all day, what did he do when they were hungry? He fed 5,000 people. We may not be able to perform great miracles like that, but we can show kindness in other ways. Remember what Jesus said in the gospel. Even if you give a drink of cold water to the littlest of my friends, you will be rewarded. Here are some ideas for showing kindness. Like in the schoolyard or the playground when someone falls down, you could help them by putting your hand out to help them up. Or ask if they're okay and if they need help. When your mom asks you to clean your room, instead of saying, not now, I'll do it later, and start to pull a tantrum, you could just say, sure, mom and do it with a smile. When you say words like, please, thank you, or you're welcome, 
you were being polite. And that's being thoughtful and kind. Or even one word of kindness like, oh, are you sad today? Can I help you? Or give a smile to someone. These are all little ways that we can be thoughtful and kind and welcoming as Jesus wanted us to be. Sometimes one kind word or a smile can make someone's day. Jesus knows you can do it because you love him, but most of all, because he loves you. Each act of kindness is like your light shining through the world to make it a more loving and welcoming home for all people, just the way God planned. So let us end with a song I'm sure you all know, This Little Light of Mine. I wish I could hear your beautiful voices singing, but I'll listen with my heart. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Till next week, love and prayers, Miss Terry.